pause the video first, read the question. Okay, so basically what we're doing is making an ATM program. To start out, we're gonna have to, uh, you have to think in smart. The user is gonna enter in sums, aka 100 bucks, 120 bucks, could be 120 bucks and five cents. So you can't just be an integer, it has to be a double or a float. I prefer to use float. Oh, just for this program, I probably will use double. So we're gonna make double. So double balance, put um, withdraw and deposit. And we'll make a input um, so the user can input what they want. So then we'll make um, in input. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make first a C out menu so they know what they're doing. One to display the balance. Two to deposit money into account and three to withdraw money from account and one more simply because um we want them we want, we want the choice to exit so we'll make four and it'll make this look different from the others four Pre, um type minus 69 to exit okay and what we're going to do is make it all sweet we'll make it um enter choice so now we're going to see in input so basically what we've done is we made a menu and we told that we told them to enter a choice and whatever that choice is is going to be saved into the variable input so now we're going to use a switch statement. Switch input, and we're going to use cases because the switch uses cases. Case one is what happens if they type in one, and what happens if they type in one? We're doing displaying balance. We'll put C out. The current balance in your account is balance. And we need a break statement since this is a switch, um, switch, break. Now, case two, see out. Enter a um, sum you wish to add to your account. Now, I'll put in C in, deposit. I'm gonna put in balance equals balance plus deposit so say the original value was um, uh, we'll start off with zero I guess so if they enter 60 it'll be the balance whatever it was which is currently zero plus 60 so that's pretty much it and then we'll put another break statement uh, we'll put actually another C out to make it so to confirm what they did was okay you have entered in uh, where am I at you've entered in in line. Okay, I have case two done. Case three is very similar. Enter a sum you wish to draw. And just like you think, we're gonna put in C in with draw and look balance equals balance minus withdraw. And we'll put another C out statement. C out. Um, you have withdrawn. Withdrawal from your account. That should be sweet. Forgot my. Wait, where am I? Okay, put a break statement there, and I forgot to put a break for case two. What the breaks use? What the breaks do is um. Okay, what they, what they, if they weren't there and they entered in one, we'll, we'll do this thing, of course. But then it's going to go to the next thing, and then it's going to go to the next thing. The break, say they entered in one, two, it will skip three, and then it's going to go after. And if you, if you put it in one, it will skip like it should. 
you don't want it to enter in one and then do one and it just keeps doing case two and case three because that would defeat the whole purpose of a switch statement. So each one should have a break. And we will put in a default, which is what happens if they don't enter one, two, or three. We want at least for them to know um, they entered in the wrong input. So we'll put, you have entered in a wrong input. Okay, and we'll in that line. So, the thing is, you have to look at this statement, you're going to be like, well, if, the, if they start, if, if it starts from, they enter in an input, and then they pick one thing to do, and the program ends there, that's kind of stupid. We want a way to, the user can just keep entering in inputs and inputs until they want to stop. We don't want to stop it for them, we want to give them the choice to stop it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to make a while statement. I'm going to put that here. When I want to put while input is not equal to, I thought that's the sign for it, and just like you guessed, minus 69 because I wrote that in the actual um, menu. And yeah, so now it's going to keep doing while input is not equal to 69. So after our switch statement, um, but inside our while statement, make sure you know where it is. After the switch, but in still inside the while, I'm gonna put C out into choice, so they can enter in another one after they're done. And C in input. Okay. The one thing I forgot to do, which I'm surprised I remembered actually, was for balance. Balance needs to have a um, original sum before you can add to it, because if if the computer doesn't know what the variable balance is, the value of it, how can it add it to it? So we have to initialize the balances variable to zero and um yeah that will work so maybe if we run this now it should work hopefully come on that be a bitch ah sweet ass okay so the first time we display if we press one it should be zero because yep okay now if we want to add press two enter a sum right, 500 bucks maybe enter um, want to add more money? Okay, we'll make 300 bucks and 10 cents, I guess. So that'll work. Okay. Oh, yeah, it takes the zero up. Okay, now if we want to show the balance, 801. That'll work. Okay, now you see we want to withdraw, to t I don't know, 200 bucks. It's choice three, withdraw, and we'll withdraw 200. So now if we display it, 601. Okay, we're done. We, we, we don't want to use our program anymore. How do we exit? Well, the user at the beginning knows that minus 69 is what they have to input to exit the program. Minus 69, enter, enter. Simple as that. All you got to really remember is that um, switch input without the while statement, it just, it just go for it once and the program will end. But you have to think in your mind, do I want the person to keep inputting stuff? And for this type of program, you do. So that's why I did that. And um, yeah, just make sure you just know your, I don't know what these things are called, whatever they are. It's very important to put them in the right place, otherwise it won't work, none of it will. And the difference why I use double in here for balance and in input here, because input is just a whole number. They're expecting a 1, 2, or a 3, or a 4, I guess. And um, whereas double, you, you, can, you want the choice for the user to enter in a um, decimal value, because, you know, some people want to enter in different. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you.